Happy New Year! Welcome back to Cooking in English with me, AJ. It's gotten very cold, so I figured today's episode, today's menu, will be sundubu jjigae. Sundubu jjigae is a Korean tofu stew. It's very easy to make. I found this recipe on YouTube from a Korean American. This recipe the first part will be the soup base. Okay, just the base, not the actual soup. So to make the soup base, you will need half a cup of finely chopped onion, very small, finely chopped onion. You will need a quarter cup of spring onions. Mine look a little iffy because they have been in the freezer and they melted. Don't worry. Spring onions. Niggy. Eh? You need one quarter cup of ground pork. I prefer ground pork because it tastes better. You can use um, regular ground meat or beef or even mushroom if you want a vegetarian option. You also need two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one half tablespoon of sesame oil. I combined the two in one bowl because we will be using it at the same time. You need three tablespoons of garlic, crushed or chopped garlic. I prefer crushed because you can get more garlic flavor. You will need one half tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, three tablespoons of shoyu, or soy sauce, and a half a cup of Korean red pepper flakes. This is the most important part of this recipe. It's also called gochugaru and you can find it online. They are very coarse ground so the pieces are a little bit bigger but this is the most important step. And this is all you need for the soup base. Just the base. We will get to cooking the actual soup later. So sundubu is spicy. Very spicy so it keeps you very warm in the summer and it's very similar to any kind of nabe it's delicious and i hope you enjoy it let's get started so here we have our pan our frying pan you need medium heat and to your medium heat add your oil and add your green onions. When this starts to sizzle, that's when you add your pork. So a sizzle is like this, where little bubbles come. It's now sizzling, so I will add my ground pork. With the ground pork, don't let it become a hamburger. You want to keep the pieces small. Smells very good. Mm. 
Okay, to this when your when your pork is cooked, add your onions. You want to cook this mixture until the liquid has almost disappeared or until the onions are translucent until they're see-through. So mix it very well. I did not chop some of my onions well enough. That's okay. Some of my onion pieces are very large. Having all of your ingredients ready is much easier than trying to make everything as you cook this. You can do a little dance as you wait. Okay, so my onions are now translucent. So add your garlic. Once it's mixed in, add your gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. Turn this to low now. Low, because you don't want the pepper flakes to burn. So keep it on low heat and just mix it all in. If it looks dry, that's okay. We still have to add the shoyu later so it will become more moist than you. Once you have everything mixed, Add your salt and sugar and thoroughly, thoroughly mix until there's no more white granules left. Okay. When your sugar and salt are fully mixed, add your shoyu. Turn off your heat and this is what your soup base should look like. Very easy, right? So from here, you need to cool it. To cool the soup base, you want to use a clean plate, a clean plate, and put the base onto the plate. Then flatten it out. And there you have it, your soup base. The great thing about sendubu jige, for the base, you can store it in the freezer. Because it's oil-based, it won't freeze. So I'm going to show you how to pack it the easiest way. So I'm sure everyone has kitchen bag. So you open one up and once your sendubu base is cool, you can just scoop it up and put it right into the bag. Okay, 
now that you have your bag filled with your base, just flatten it out. Press it down. Doing this makes it very easy for storage. And then just fold over the bag like so. Grab a larger Ziploc bag. And place the base inside. Get as much air out as you can because it just makes for easier storing. And boom! You have your sundubu base that you can put in the freezer. Then, whenever you want your sundubu, just one tablespoon and that's it. All right, let's make some sundubu jjigae. The sundubu jjigae I will be making today is the very, very basic version. All you need for one portion of sundubu jjigae, you need a quarter cup of water. You can add more if it's too spicy for you. That's totally okay. But the base is one quarter cup of water, one single tub of silken tofu, kinu dofu, kinu dofu ne? Silken tofu. You need one tablespoon of your sundubu base, which I will get very soon. You need one egg and you need some spring onion. Nagi, green onion, spring onion. <laughs> and that's it. That's the very, very basics. From here, you can add seafood. You can add more eggs if you would like. You can add various vegetables like mushrooms. So let's get started. I'm going to put these to the side. I will push this forward so that you can see better. So, adding my water to my pot. And then I will add my one tablespoon. There we go. And one tablespoon of sundubu base and you want this on medium to low heat and you can use a regular spoon too to mix it you don't need any kind of tool when it starts to boil that's when you would add seafood like clams or shrimp to let it cook for longer. So I will let that come to a boil. I adjusted the camera so that you can see better. Smells very good. Smells very spicy. I may need to add some more water. Might be too spicy for me. This also gets less spicy when you add the tofu so i would say check the taste after you add the tofu okay it's boiling now so i will add my tofu with washed hands i have washed my hands already just put the tofu into your hand and very gently put it into oh, there we go into the soup you can cut beforehand if you want to i i don't care so i put it in and then with my spoon 
I just cut the tofu into pieces. All you need to do is wait for the tofu to become warm and then you add your egg. Five minutes sundubu jjigae. I eat this when I do not want to cook anything or when I am very lazy because this is very good, spicy and full of protein so it's delicious okay now that it's boiling I'm going to taste a little bit mmm that's spicy but it's perfect spice now to our boiling pot I will add my egg and just right over top I like my egg to be cooked a little bit so I'm going to lower this just a little bit using a pot cover I'm just going to place it over the top I like to steam my egg a little bit because it's delicious that way. Mmm, there we go. It's looking delicious. So, heat off. And that's it. That's all you need for sundubu jjigae. So, let's eat. Oh, it looks so delicious. Okay, so with sundubu jjigae, you eat with rice. If you have kimchi, go ahead and eat it with kimchi. I don't have any right now. You can garnish with some, there we go. You can garnish with some green onions. It adds a nice flavor. Itadakimasu. When I eat sundubu jjigae, I like to take a little bit of rice. And dip it into the stew. It's very hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. It's spicy, but it's so delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A little bit of tofu and a little bit of egg. Mmm. Oh, this is the perfect winter dish. Perfect. It's so... Oh, and then you can go into the egg. It's so warm and delicious and spicy to keep you warm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cooking in English. I forgot the number, but that's okay. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you make this sundubu jjigae and that you love it and that it keeps you warm in the winter time. Have a happy new year. Bye.